So where's the storage room? Or is that the one we already got? I think that was the one we already got. Whoa, crap! Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining me in Starfield, where last time we got together with Andresia. We're not really married yet, I don't think, but we are dating, and I get the XP bonus, and that's all I really care about. Help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if yeah, I let me just go check this. They always say that. Go help yourself at the bar. Is there anything at the bar? Hey, now the party can get started. What are you Finally. doing here? Aren't you supposed to be on the ship? Yeah, there's nothing at the bar. There's some empty glasses, some tumblers, but there's nothing to drink. How are you supposed to help yourself? Eh. You gotta help yourself over the bar because everybody blocks you places. Yeah, there's nothing. They do have a cooking thing here, so I guess you could make yourself some drinks if that's possible. I don't know. I haven't gone into the cooking stuff very much. Your safe return to the but today, I think we're going to be working on getting a bit more of the main story done, sort of. Mostly, I want to go get some more powers. So, oh yeah, we got to talk to Mateo. And then we got to talk to Vladimir to locate some more. So we're going to go do that, because I want to get more powers. And, well, I have all the powers, but we want to level them all up, because... What ones do we even have? We got Personal Atmosphere. Uh, this one, because that's like the first one you get, I think, any gravity field. But not too many. Yeah, that's level two. Oh, wait. Toggle power names. Does that not actually work? Oh, if you push Q, it works, but if you push this, it doesn't do anything. That's another bug they could fix before the uh, the weapon chest uh, glitch or whatever they exploit. So we've got, it looks like, oh, it doesn't actually tell you if it's level two or not on the name. Well, that's dumb. Okay. So, yeah, we don't have that many. I'd say like five, maybe seven-ish. So either way, yeah, we want to get more of those. Four undiscovered temples. I don't know what that even means. That doesn't seem to correlate to anything. This right here, I don't even know why they bother with it. So yeah, we're going to go talk to Vlad. We want to change out of our fancy business suit because we don't need it. Uh, yeah, back to Han Solo. So back, or off to the key. Yes, the key is not, uh, I don't know if it does show it there. Yeah, go to the eye, or the eye. Stuck on Crimson Fleet terminology. Well, not terminology, but <laughs> we've just been spending so much time at the key. Oh, and that's to do the mission to go and get actually married or whatever it is they do to become a true couple. Because that's all she's got left for us, I imagine. So, I wonder, do you have to have your companion set... Um, as your spouse in order to get the bonus. I seem to remember testing that in my first playthrough and you do have to have your spouse as your companion when you sleep, otherwise you don't get the uh, like oh, sorry. emotional Let's comfort bonus I think it is or whatever. Yeah, you're always doing math oh, and push-ups. Or squats, in my head. or whatever it is. Inventory on the station. Next supply run. Okay, yeah, point me at some more temples. I'd go into the astronomical charting data with you, but clear as day just to point you right to it. Okay, cool. So we got a new temple to go to, and also have done a few surveys, so, so yeah, we do have some survey data for you. Ear. And don't we? Yeah, we got a good few. But we have two of these. Interesting. Oh well. Uh, can we sell all? Oh, we can. Cool. How much money do we get from that? Draw the words another time, then. Don't know. I don't really care either. I just wanted to get it out of my inventory. Yeah, we've got what a million nine hundred and forty thousand. That's that's enough money to be getting on with. To build a few ships out of that. Although most of the ships I build, if I build a ship from scratch, it costs close to a million. It's like seven hundred thousand ish thereabouts. So yeah, I don't know if I'll leave it all in or just cut it out, but I'm going to head to that temple and get some powers until, yeah, I'm going to just keep repeating that until Vlad runs out of stuff. Because eventually he does, obviously, because we don't have all the artifacts and you have to have an artifact associated with the temple or he can't find it, which is, I don't know, kind of silly. You'd figure after a while he'd be able to recognize something close enough. 
but either way, we're off to... Does it... Oh, it does. Cool. Okay. So yeah, we're going to head over to this one. Where's this? Procyon? Where is Procyon? Oh, it's not even that far. Okay. So, yeah, I'll either see you there or see you at the next one or the last one. I don't know how I'm going to run it, but yeah, something like that. So, yeah, I will see you all at end of the temple run. No, oh, it pointed us right the right way in it as well. That works. And these temples, like, they could have done some kind of puzzle with the temple, but I guess, I don't know, I guess it would get a little tedious doing a puzzle for each temple, but this gets tedious too. At least the puzzles, like, they could do less powers, have less temples, and just make them better. You know, like, how many shouts are there in Skyrim? I don't even know. I don't think I've ever gotten all the shouts or looked it up. I've never even actually finished Skyrim, to be totally honest with you. I don't know if I could really say that I finished um, Starfield, because, I mean, we did go through the Unity, but does that really count as finishing the game? I think that's the other complaint a lot of people have about Starfield, is that there's no real, like, climactic ending, you know, like beating some big bad boss at the end. Like most video games have, there's, you know, to use a, you know, kind of wrong euphemism, it's, it's kind of like, you know, a sexual encounter that doesn't actually finish for you, you know, it leaves you kind of hanging, you just edge there, it's like, oh, that's it, and now, now we're done, okay. So... I think that's what rubs a lot of people the wrong way, just because it's, you know, trying to do something a little bit different in the overall game industry to some extent. This is what constellation what we, has been for. we got... Oh, why are you all the way down there? Particle beam. Yeah, I still am annoyed that they don't drop their guns, at least. Because as we learned, all you get is, you know, a ship, a suit, and your body. So their guns, they should be dropping. We are heading back to Vlad again. Oh, no we're not. That's all done. Apparently that was the last one. Okay. So, yeah, with that all done, what else I would like to do... Oh, we have a skill point. I totally didn't even realize we had a skill point. We must have gotten it last time, and I totally forgot about it. So we could do lasers, we could do ballistics, I mean we could do all these things, I think they're all yeah ready to be leveled up. Um, outpost management, I do kind of, I did also realize the whole reason I couldn't build the, yeah, the botany stuff is I had to research it. So I did research that. I could do zoology too, because I wanted to set that up at the outpost and see if we just need to research, oh that's what I, I said. We're going to do outpost engineering, research and construct superior outpost modules. Yeah, I think that's what you actually need is outpost because that's what lets you research. This doesn't let you research, so I don't think this had anything to do with my ability to do that. I think we need outpost engineering and we really need this. I wish I would tell you what you can craft. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Because finding all that stuff so I can upgrade my things, not working out. So, yeah, we're going to do this one. And then we're going to run over to our outpost real quick to see if I can actually um, build anything else. Because, yeah, I need it for some research projects. So I will, you know, if it's interesting, I'll see you at the outpost. But it's usually just clicking buttons. So it's not terribly interesting. What happened to my outpost? There it is. But yeah, I will show you the re results afterwards. And then we'll head off to do more fun stuff. Yeah, what do we got? I, would like a chance to talk to you, I know you want to talk, Andrasia. You've been telling me 
a lot. Why is that guy not glowing? Is he too far away? Is he too far away? Wait a minute. Is he even? Yeah, they are. Facer Predator, eh? Well, Mr. Predator, I'm gonna prey on you. That's what happens to predators. And another spacer predator, huh? What? How do they see us? I think they really know where we are. They're just kind of blind firing. Oh, those guys do, though. Oh, yeah. I found me some targets, too. Eh. This is faster. Uh, it really is. Got somebody over here. Yep, we totally killed you. Advanced shock troop. Yeah, we'll grab it. Where'd you guys go? You all dead? Run away. Hey, no running away. That's what you get. Oh, mines! Mines! I don't like mines. And we may as well use some more powers. Hey, buddy! Who's left? Nobody in here? You have anything good? Mm, not really. Yeah, not really. Over here, somebody? How do we only explode that one? The other one was right next to it. Oh, there you are. Everybody else is inside, I imagine. Oh, maybe not. Somebody's shooting at us. Where you at? Somebody over here. Ah, there you are. A grenade. Ah, oh, I missed. Dang it. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Always worth checking. That wasn't the best chase, but got the job done, kind of. Impact grenade, no thank you. What do you got in here for me? Ooh. EB, oh, Private Brown's log. Boredom. Um, yeah, that is boredom. Ooh. Main key? Sure. That'll save us some digi picks. Weapon case with nothing good in it. Digi picks and novice safe. Easy peasy. And yeah, let's take it all. All stuff I need, so. Ooh, magazine. Double Galactic Manual. Apparently reduced fuel need for a grab jump by additional 1%. Okay. I don't know how that really helps us. I mean, I guess it increases our range by a little bit, but other than that, not terribly helpful. Nothing else that good in here? No, yeah, not really. Alright. Yeah, just a regular old Beowulf. Oh, did we get you? Did not. Oh, yeah, we should do. Yeah. Probably healing up is a good plan. That, is that some kind of gun? Like a space gun? Or is it a radar? A radio of some kind? Oh yeah, we got you already. We did not loot in here because we were busy trying to hunt everybody down. That. Nothing good. Here, anything? Maybe Neurojack. I don't know what that does. I think that's the one that makes you complete research stuff better. Not so tough. Yeah, all these rooms that it's like kind of need a flashlight, but you at the same time don't really. I need to go find silver. 7 millimeter use. I will grab it. I just like the A99. I don't know why. 
But you do a lot of EM damage. Yeah, we'll grab it just in case. I think it's pretty low level, but you never know. Guns are good. Not having guns is bad. Why they need to work on real bug fixes instead of... Yep, we got that key. Who's in here? Oh, you know what we should do? I know you want to talk to us. Whoever laid claim to this place seems to be long gone. Hey, buddy. Ooh, yeah. Spacer myth. You got way too many hit points, buddy. Not quite. You're still alive. There, now you've had enough. Who's left? The few you had Berserker Naval Cutlass. Yeah, that's the other thing. They really need to make the drops better. Because I swear, it's nine out of every ten, um, you know, like epic, rare, legendaries, whatever I get is freaking melee weapons. Where you at? I saw two more dudes. Where'd they go? There they are. Here, advanced mag storm, and we'll grab it. I don't think it's really worth grabbing, but just in case it is. Thing over here. Dead guy. I yeah. have things. He did exist. There he is. I know. Okay, we will go storage room. We'll probably need that. What's this do? Credit for your thoughts, as they Switch. Say. Does something. And you guys really think you know what's going on? Da -da -da. Boring stuff. Oh, did that turn on the music? That's what the Switch did. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. It's not really too good either, but, you know, interesting. Alright. Uh, we grabbed you. Yep, so it's just a couple of you guys in here. So where's the storage room? Or is that the one we already got? I think that was the one we already got. Whoa, crap! Yeah, we'll just leave this place with the music going. I have Explorers Advanced Grendel. I, I know you just told me. When you have time. This, Rolf's reply. Mm, boring. Um, and can we? Yeah. So, oh. Have any chunking gone? What? No, we don't need that. Alright. That's everything that was here. Okay. So now we're going to go probably back to the ship because I need to go and like murderize a bunch of the local wildlife. Now it's this place. I've been to this place before. I don't want to do this place. There's nothing good here ever. Is there anybody in here? Yep. It's like ecliptic. Yeah. I mean, do we need the experience? We do. Hmm. It's way easier to get experience. Ah, we'll do it. We will do it. Oh, that's Andresia. Why can we not hit that dude? There you are. Yeah, melt him, Andresia. <laughs> oh, we needed to give you a friggin' helmet. Alright, so after this, we're gonna talk to Andresia. Particle grenades. Refined power pack. I don't think the equipped power packs are that good to start with, though. Everybody else seems to be indoors. So drop a quick save and head in. Oh, you missed the bus, Andresia. 
Alrighty. Yeah, they're all downstairs. Okay, that too. Keep searching. You ain't gonna find me because you're not gonna come up the stairs. You guys are cowards. Yeah, there's nothing that good here. But they did have some of the, the stuff that I need. Kind of power. Here, have that. I'm glad it is in your hands. And I want to do that and this. Hey guys. Oh, then we'll get out. <laughs> yep, I like that power. Okay. Whoa! Don't like that. What do you have? You must have some sort of rocket launcher. Oh, he's got a freaking poison thing. I hate the poison things. Whoa. Nope, still can't do it. Oh, it's... That guy's still... That's the guy with the freaking rocket launcher. Or grenade launcher, whatever. Dang it, that guy's squirrely. Where'd he go? Dang, he ran. So you don't know how to use the doors, though. Wait a minute. Operator leatherware. I don't think I've... Maybe I have seen that. Okay. I believe that's everybody in here. Yeah, how many levels did that get us? <laughs> oh, barely anything. Okay, so that wasn't worth it for experience, that's for sure. Uh, Varoons. Miners got killed off by the Varoon. Oh. Well, not without bullets. We need bullets to kill people. And your buddy? No. What? Who else? Ah. That looks like a turret. Yep. You are behind cover. You gonna pop out? Come on, pop out. Here we go. Another turret. I'm hitting some hitbox in the way, aren't I? There we go. Another one. Oh, now they found us. Oh, they're right here, are they? 69, nice. The spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Maybe. Oh, they got mines. Oh. And you're there. else? Oh. Oh, that's Andresia. Over here. Running around. And you. Hi. There we go. That's everybody. Alright. So, I think I've We'll probably leave that part in, but we got to level 69. Like a chance to talk to oh, you. and Andresia would like a chance to talk. So, we're going to talk to Andresia. 
because she's just gonna bug the crap out of me until we go and talk to her. What That's can I help you with? Sarah. Here's Andresia. What's up, honey I bun? I've been thinking about us as a couple. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure of the terminology. Our relationship, let us say. Yes, it's pretty wonderful. Hope you're not having second thoughts. Funny, I think about you all the time too. Um, sounds ominous. Oh great, here we go. Um, the, I don't know. Sounds ominous. Uh, yeah, it does a little I bit. I am sorry. I do not mean to cause alarm. Overall, I am very happy. I promise you. You and I, we come from such different backgrounds. Yep, I'm a starborn. You're just you somebody I met in a new universe. You we were married to you husband. before. Yeah, it's weird. So, I don't know. Um, not sure you can ever really completely know another person. We do the best we can. I told you you need to let go of the past. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we each bring something unique. I hope that we love each other. Uh, I don't know. None of these are very good responses. Sure, we each bring something unique. That's a good thing. I am not suggesting otherwise. Good. I because uh, that would be incorrect, I suppose. This does not work if I am not honest. If I will not speak plainly, what is on my mind? Yes. Much Speaking as I love you. Succinctly is a good idea. I cannot help but wonder what the future holds for us. Well, I'm probably going to leave you at the Unity again. To be true. Um, yeah, I'm not going... Well, I am going somewhere. I'm going through the Unity again. Uh, we may not have the same beliefs. We can make this work. Uh, yeah. I would very much like to believe that. And yet, when the Great Serpent returns, I know I will be by his side as one of the promised. But you... Well, we're Starborn, so we don't care about any Great Serpent. You are not House Baroon. Your fate, as much as it pains me, is sealed. I have tried to not worry myself over it, but I cannot stop thinking about it. What future can we have if that... Yeah, I, I really don't care. Um, I don't accept that. Yeah, we decide our own fates. A million different things could happen tomorrow. Let's just th be thankful for today. Yeah, you let's understand. go with that. This is different. It is not what might happen, but what will happen. Well, it's what you I believe will happen. That's a to totally different thing. You cannot possibly. And I will not fault you for that. I do want to be with you, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, all this stuff. How can I possibly move past this? I don't know. Been through so much, she deserves to be happy, even if only for now. We need to enjoy the time we have together, not worry about what's to come. Great Serpent can have you for eternity, for now you're mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never one to pass up a chance at the joke, are you? Yep. I just That's hate me. to think of anything coming between us, whether now or in the future. But so do they all I, believe that the Great Serpent I'm is coming in their lifetime, what in or what? Of me now. Not something I have no control over. Thank you for talking me through this. It only serves to remind me how much you mean to me. How deeply I care about you. Okay, great. Um, yeah, we'll do commitment. Really? Why not? You continue to surprise and amaze me. I am... I am at a loss for words. Okay. Um, I was kind of hoping that yes would be in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm asking too much. Tell me. Just promise me that you're gonna be you're gonna stay by my side. Well, we're not gonna stay by her side. So, yeah. Tell me if it's too much. There is no such thing as too much, love. My culture deals with this so differently than I have seen in the rest of the settled systems. Yeah, I, I wonder what a Varun like marriage ceremony is like. How many sacrifice sacrifices do they have to make to the Great Serpent? Gesture, but do not mistake that for hesitation. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. And I will not let you go for a moment. Okay, cool. So that's in the works. And now yes. we need to spend some points. As we are level 69. 
Yeah, and we want to... Oh, what was it? This one? Yeah. That grabbed all the stuff. Yeah, we need that. And then we need... Oh, spacesuit design. Zoology. I think we need zoology because I was coming across stuff on the animals that we need. So yeah, we're going to do this one. More common. Yeah, we need to get up to rarer stuff. So yeah, we need that. We're probably going to need to do both of those. Chemistry. What does that do? You can create improved chems. Okay. We don't care about that. And then I'm going to head over to our outpost and do some upgrades and all that good stuff. And I'll get back to you and show off what I have managed to come up with. There's our outpost. I'll see you after all that's done. All right. <clears throat> well, I don't know how much exactly I cut out, but we are doing pretty well. We got uh, upgraded to, yeah, spacesuit design. Was that one? No, it was um, special projects and zoology we got, which I'm kind of regretting getting zoology at this point, but <laughs> either way, we got it now, so... Got to go do some of that, and I forgot we were doing that. So we did upgrade, yeah, the Varun thing. So, where was it? Yeah, this guy. It's doing a ton of damage now. So I think this is going to be our go-to from now on. I think I'm going to drop this one. Because I tested it out a bit, and it just, I mean, 337 damage seems good. And then, yeah, sometimes emit electricity. I didn't notice any electricity when I was using it. And it's just, that one is way more. <laughs> so, and it's just so heavy. I mean, it's 10 mass. And we need to drop all the mass we can. And then, yeah, I also upgraded the helmet. It is now, uh, what was it, heavy shielding. We managed to get that on it. We also managed to get heavy shielding on our suit. So, yeah, we are sitting pretty good. And then this, did we... Why is it red? I don't know. Let me just go check and see if there's anything we can do. I don't think we can put heavy shielding on this. Emergency aid. Regeneration. Could be good-ish. Oh, we have emergency... Medic does... Yeah, more health when you use it. Then... Yeah, balanced. Skip capacity. Balanced. Power. Basic. Nah, I think balanced is the best one. I think we want medic. Yeah. We're gonna go with medic. Oh, and we need to do more mods. That's right, I totally forgot. Okay. So, what we're also gonna do then is grab Andresia's suit. Where's Andresia? There she is. I need your suit. If I can take a few. No, we want to take your stuff, actually. No, can I take it? Um, unequip and then take it. There we go. Now we can take it. Okay. And then we can also check if we've got anything better. What? Telling me to halt in my own freaking outpost. Is our ship... No, of course our ship's not. It just does not want to spawn or to actually land on the landing pad anymore. It's so annoying. Do this every single time. Yeah, we gotta switch to a different ship. Sure, we'll just switch to that. And then switch right back to that. There. Now we can compare with the stuff we've got on this ship. Hmm. Just trying to think of the best way to do that. So inventory, spacesuits. So hers, 160, 192, 176. That one. Okay, that's probably... Yeah, that's going to be better, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we'll just grab that one. That's what we'll do. We'll just grab the next best one. 
And that should be guaranteed to <laughs> get us the best stuff. We could just upgrade that and then, you know, whoever we want to maybe switch to, we can just give them pretty good suits. You're just going to sit there, are you? Okay. So yeah, I'm going to real quick upgrade this stuff and may or may not cut it out. Oh yeah, we'll give you pocketed too. And you can carry more stuff when we need you to carry more stuff. Alright, so that got us somewhere. Oh, let's give her that stuff. I'm glad to see you. Yep, let's need trade. To see what I'm carrying. We do. So we can give you some stuff. This one. This one. And this one. Where that? That? Where that? Then, may as well go ahead and grab some more. Grab the next one, because where were we at? I guess I should check where we're at first. Thank you for the conversation and, and everything. She's so awkward at conversation. All right, so spacesuit design, we need 11. So it's what, four per? Right, so that's 12. So yeah, one more set should do us. Let's do regeneration, sure, why not? Try it out, and we're all done. Cool. So that's all that stuff taken care of. So let's dump everything back on the ship that we don't need. All right, I think that should be good. Down to 133. Pretty respectable. Do we have any of this? Oh, cryomine. I'm never going to use that. Or these. And I might use those. We need to go get some grenades. In there. Alright. We're all leveled up. Well, pretty well leveled up. Level 69. I think I probably showed it, but... Yeah, we just upgraded most of our stuff. And we got one more level of... Our spacesuit, whatever manufacturing modification to do. And I didn't really have time to modify the ship at all. So now, I should probably go check in with the UC boys. See what they've got going on. Yeah. So let's get it going. I don't think I'm really going to have time to do much more than that. I'll just go check in call it good for this episode. I'll try and leave in a few of the fights though. Because otherwise it'd be a pretty boring episode. <laughs> but we did fight a bunch of people, or a fair number of people, so got some damage done. Stay in orbit. Jump. Where are you guys? Raider, huh? Oh, where are you? The Deruda. What's the Deruda? And Doc. Yeah, who the heck are you? You've got a name. The Deruda. I've never seen that before. That's brand new. Alright. Oh, yeah, we need first person for this. And yeah, we'll use this thing. And then we use this power where you're all at. I don't see anybody downstairs. I don't see, I see one dude. Nope, those are just windows, not doors. That's different. Didn't, don't we know you? Um. Okay. I'm confused. I'm way confused. Don't we own this ship? Already. Where's that? Yeah, the Deruda. That's something totally new. So did she hijack her ship back from us and come to attack some, some people? Um... <laughs> Okay, that's brand new. Well then, 
so what happens if we explode it? Do we still have it then? That is weird. Does she just fly in and start attacking people? Dog? Because... Yeah, that's... Are you... Okay, so she's not hostile anymore. Weird. That is unique. Okay, well, yeah, breaking the bank. That's what we're doing. So where is the vigilance? Over here in Aranea. Let's go. Yeah, I figured out if I left it out, cut it out of the video, but you can just hold the W button with Alt and it will assign all the um, leftover power to whatever system you're on instead of having to tap it, you know, for each one. So, you know, you just hold Alt to go over and then you just hold W and it just puts everything in there. And dock away. So that's kind of cool because I saw somebody do a video, or I don't know if it was a short or whatever, but... Uh, on Xbox, they were saying how to do that on Xbox. Like, like, well, they've got to have a way to do it on PC as well. So... Uh, we're just reporting on the Gal Bank situation, I do believe. Talk to Ikonde. So, buddy. So, I heard oh. there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? Yeah, any excitement that happens, that's us. Uh, we <laughs> successfully stole the Galbank credentials. News travels fast. So some of the sirens of the Star's passengers should be arrested. Uh, that's true. Nice work. Any specific evidence you picked up regarding criminal activity should be given to Lieutenant Toff after the debriefing. Yeah, I'm holding on to all that because I haven't decided yet how to do that. Break the next time you stop by the vigilance. But for now, what do you have on Delgado and his little ragtag group of pirates? Hmm. We stole the Galbank credentials. Yes. And I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Except for I didn't the, the need to kill anybody. squad that you took down at the archives. Well, I kill ecliptic all the time. Away. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Yep. Let me see what you got. So the legacy went down at Bannock 4. Yeah, yeah, familiar. Okay. We don't care. It's Bannock familiar 4 to everybody. Is an EM class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. Yep, he'll figure it out. I feel they've hit the dead end. Um, how did you know all that? No, he'll figure it out. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. Mm, <laughs> he's kept ahead of Sisdef. I don't admire him, but you have to admit he's been clever. Aren't they warning about his resourcefulness? Yep. Call it whatever you like. It doesn't change the fact that Delgado is still a murderer. Well, His so are you guys. Has killed every single one of our previous informants. That's enough, Lieutenant. <laughs> Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. Yeah, he's got that figured out. He hasn't figured out the EM stuff yet. Uh, they think something called the comm spike will solve that. Can't you just fly someone out there and trace it yourselves? Aren't you concerned that I'm helping them get closer? Um, they aren't really, but yeah, the comm they spike. They have information about the comm spike? <sighs> well, yeah. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly it's too classified for you. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. There's always I'll a mole. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Okay, you do that. I'll report back with any evidence. Uh, aren't we going to warn the UC Navy? No, we're not. Are you any closer to convincing the council to attack? Yeah, are you? My Probably not. My superiors are stubborn. They aren't going to authorize an attack on the key based on my flights of fancy. Told. We need more evidence that all the Crimson Fleet's plans will result in them actually getting their hands on this fabled cache of credits. I mean, aren't they a danger already? I don't understand why they wouldn't, the Council wouldn't, I mean, sanction just wiping out the Crimson Fleet. 
So yeah, we'll report back with the evidence. Just stick with the plan, and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. Well, we get to Krix's le legacy first, of course. But a lot of us had our doubts about it. Is that it? That's it. Meet Neva and Jasmine on the key. Back in basic training, I had the record for fleet kills. Oh yeah, in basic training, huh? You mean like in a simulator, not in real life? That makes sense. I suppose we'll go and report back to the Crimson Fleet as well, because we should be able to accomplish that at least. That will set us up for next. Why does all of our stuff fire extinguisher? Where do you belong? Um, go up. Yeah, yeah right there. That's a good spot. <laughs> I don't know why everything started falling off of everywhere else. Like when I first was playing, nothing, everything was in its place, it was where it belonged. And now everything just falls off everywhere, like every other Bethesda game. They, they had the physics all right, and then in the update, they're like, you know what? These physics are working too accurately or too well. We need to Bethesda this up. All right, this one go here. Yeah, I'm not giving her the proof yet because. If you give them the proof and you have enough of it, then they will send more ships. And I haven't decided yet if I want the Crimson Fleet or the UC to win. So we are holding off on that until we decide whether or not we're going to side with whoever we're going to side with. Not really worth it, you know, like as far as experience wise and all that stuff. Docking ahead. And it really does suck to lose the uh, the key here. It is a really good space station to do stuff. Like, not so much for, you know, missions. I don't know. Pirate missions are lucrative, but mostly for the ship modification. Because if you do side with Sysdef, then you obviously you lose these guys here. And you can't get the comms right, bike anymore. Or the other thing they According give you, I forget. The, latest, um, the comms the EM, is whatever it is. at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Undisclosed. Fantastic. That's kind of what they do with undisclosed. top secret projects. We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jim's. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. Okay. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Yeah, yeah. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920 security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Okay. She would be wise to do the same. Yep, she would. Um, <laughs> no idea with Juan. I've done it before. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, that's news to me, Rook. But if you two have a working relationship, all the better. That's right. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. Yeah, According I know. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Now, bring it back in one piece. Um... Yes, yeah, so the prototype phase. How do we even know it's going to do, going to work? Because it does. You should know this. Like, where's the starborn option? You'd better, for your sake. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops, and we both know those idiots don't mess around. Yeah, if I know. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery. You might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal. Because well, we could do it if we wanted to. But, yeah. So you don't care if I shoot my way through the place? Uh, how will Juan get me inside the station? Yeah. No, it's Perfect. understood. That's I know what I like to hear. all that I need to know. Okay. So, I'm going to arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. Okay, cool. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. <laughs> okay. <laughs> make sure that Jazz well, will do it. Make sure. More yep. like, get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. 
That's the job I want. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, oh, so they are they involved? The out of here and don't come back without that comm spike in your cargo bay. Well, it's not going to be in our cargo bay. It's going to be in a ship that we steal. Yeah, what can you tell me about Juan? Juan asked why we need the comm spike. Yeah, what do I tell I'm her? Gonna leave I don't that remember. Up to you, Rook. Oh. If you get into deep Fine. trouble and you think bringing her into the fold is going to make the difference, tell her whatever you want. At some point, Delgado's going to be promising everyone their cut of Crix's legacy. If we want him to stick with the fleet, it's inevitable. But until the money's within reach, the less people that know, the better. Yep. Okay. Hit me We're up all if good you here. questions. Really? You seem to not like questions very much. But that's going to do it for this part. So I hope it was enjoyable. <laughs> it's a little bit different of an episode, but I just needed to get some levels in and get stuff moving along in that way. And we did... I probably left it in, but yeah, we did level up, uh, I mean, all the, all the powers we could, which, of course, not the one that I really want. And yeah, not that one, because that's the last one. Or not that one. This one is the last one. But that one would have been nice to level up, too. But either way, if you did enjoy it, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. As always, thank you all so much for watching. And if it's too short, I'll throw in some gratuitous violence of me murdering a bunch of aliens on random planets, because I did a bunch of that. So, yeah, catch you all next time. Bye.